morning, good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Crab Queen and today I'm gonna start a new project. I am super excited because there is a little, yeah, big going on. Is it big? I don't know. Let me first show you what I found. Okay, stay tuned. Okay guys, look at this. I am so super excited and I must confess I never ever saw this brand before in my life. Um, someone mentioned it uh, to me through Facebook and when I went to look I thought oh my gosh they have so many cool collections and um, so it was very hard to choose but my first one to choose was the Enchanted World and it's Alice in Wonderland uh, team. So, oh my God, yeah. I do have a weakness for Alice in Wonderland and there are so many cool images to be found. But when I saw this, it was, oh yeah, I definitely wanted it. So the most thing that catches my eyes was this pack. The cut apart pack but I will show you in a second because first I will go to the 8x8 paper pack I chose for the 8x8 paper pack because it's easier for me to send worldwide and I just love the size so I love it um so yeah the 8x8 paper pack it's just amazing there is a bonus because on the back you will have some words you can cut out, cut cut out in the land of fantasy, dream, and freedom. Um, there are also some Polish words on it, but I'm not, definitely not going to use it. So it's a Polish brand. Um, what is called Alchemy of Art. It's the brand. So it's a beautiful, beautiful brand, and they have amazing collections but um so yeah if you can see this is a year month year so two nice tags that you already can use um so let's go first to the papers so here we have a nice grungy clock on the back some old pink grungy um spots in front and look at these images oh my gosh it's to die for don't you think and here at the bottom oh okay and then in the back oh wow 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 <laughs> look how cute this is i just love this you also can use this if you don't like elves and Wonderland, but who does not like it so we have two pages in one eight by eight paper pack look at this oh it's so cool and then at the bottom left, there is a nice vintage Alice. So cool. And then at the back, a nice mint color with some brown grungy ornaments, baroque style. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, then here we have, yeah, I don't think that I need to mention it, but so cool. And then this one, wait just a sec. Oh, look at this. It's so cool. And then at the back, holy, holy, holy. I just love this. The diamond touched black and white. I just love it. Did I mention that I love it? <laughs> I did. I did. All right, so this also, look at this. Oh, it's so cute. So this is some mint and pink. And here's a nice image too. Oh, so cool. I really like the grungy stuff. And then here we have all the elements from the playing cards. So cool. It's very vintage, very, yeah, shabby chic. I don't know. I don't know what the, what the, what the word is, but this image is just, oh, look at the man of that. Oh my gosh. And here. The lady from the playing cards. Oh, I just love it so much. And here we have a nice tree. Oh, 
So you can imagine, the images are just phenomenal. So it's so cool that they, and also the grungy thing and everything. I love it. This is just a nice, plain, but easy to use paper background. Very easy to use. I love this one. And then we have one more. And here we have a little Alice. So cute. And you don't need to make a child project with this team. You definitely don't. I love Alice in Wonderland also. So, oh, there's also the cat inside. Look at this little, little cat. They are younger. <laughs> so cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yep, and then we go to the back. Oh, love this one. So easy to be used. But the front is also... <gasps> Wow, so it will be difficult, very difficult, which side you want to use. Well, thank God there were two pages, so one of these and one of these, of course, but yeah, super cool. So that is the 8x8 eight eight paper pack that we are going to use. How many pages are there? Um, 12? Yeah, 6. Six different designs and each two. So 12 papers are inside. And then this one is the bonus. So that one I I got for my new project. And then this one. This one is the main reason why I chose for, for this. Because it's so, so a set of accessoires for self-cutting. Look at this. This is the bonus. Oh, do I need to say more? Mm. It's just amazing. And I also must say, I, I, I saw these. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yes. There is a lot to cut out. And, um, yeah, it's just amazing. First of all, the front and back are the same. So if you cut it out... The front, oh, not this one. <laughs> this is the, 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 the bigger sheet for this, this little pocket and these little items. But the rest there are. They are the same. See? They are the same. Now, me, myself, I do love to cut my own cutting lines. And my mom already told me when I, I, I showed these, for, oh, that is difficult to cut out. Well, I told her, well, I think they manage that for the people that are having difficulties. Because now you can follow these lines easily without worrying, worrying that you are cutting it wrong. So, yeah, I think, but I also think that if you have a cutting machine... And I do, but I did not use it. <laughs> um, that you can use this also. So this way or this way, you can use it. But I fussy cut it, everything with my own bare hands. Nicely with a cup of tea. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Oh, this way, this way. I just felt in love with all the images. Sorry if everything is a little bit upside down, but... It is so darn cute. All right, let me go to the next one. And there are so many different Alice's. So you can choose which one you want to use, but oh my God, this is breathtaking, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I love it. Love, love, love it. It's so cool. And there are also the cat, of course, is there. Some little mouses, the clocks. It's just... You know, there's just this little guy. So cute, so cute. Oh, yeah. You're going to love it. If you love Alice. And this is a totally different one. So, yeah, I think they just choose for many different pieces. With the bookshelf on the back. Here's the cat again. Keys. I love it. Love it. So, 
I did the fussy cutting downstairs with a nice cup of tea and um, I just took my time for it. If I cut, I think, two pages and I just leave it alone to give my hand a rest. But there is a lot of fussy cutting, I know. And I know not everybody can do that. I know that. I'm very sorry. But I could not look at this one. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Even it looks a little bit... Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I just love it. So many bottles to cut out. I did not cut the, the small, the smallest pieces, but the biggest are like this, these small ones, I did not cut out. But you can cut out everything that you want. Look at this turtle. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. So it's not all Alice in Wonderland. Look at this mouse. Oh, it's just so cute. So it's not all Alice in Wonderland. So even if you don't like Alice in Wonderland, then, then the papers are still phenomenal absolutely stunning so that is why i chose for this yeah i could not resist <laughs> but why why i chose only for one um eight by eight is because um i noticed my latest project the what was it it was the ciao bella yeah the ciao bella not um we had a big paper pack one eight eight a four two eight by eight and two six by six and i noticed while i was working on that project so many same papers over and over and over again it was hard for me to combine and it was not that it did not look good it looks amazing but it doing the project i was feeling hmm maybe i had too much papers but yeah you want to have more papers otherwise you can't make a nice big album and i do love make big projects well not big projects but i love to use papers um so what i was thinking <laughs> now comes the clue so while i was watching these papers and they are just amazing but i thought well if I want to do two 8x8s, then I still have not enough. 24 8x8 eight eight papers, then I still have not enough. If I want to do a 12x12, 12 12, then I do have a 12x12, 12 12, the same as the 8x8. And it's more difficult for me to send worldwide. I want to keep the postage as less as possible. And that I can do with an A4 mailbox. So that is also why I don't like to do that much a 12 by 12 sheet so what i did i thought why not make a basic background paper pack that fits with all these colors <laughs> so what i did i created a basic background paper pack and I choose all the colors that fits with with this with this collection, and um, and I must say I choose two other collections from the same brand because I do love the fussy cutting um, items, the six sheets. I just absolutely love them so i have three collections and i can use the basic backgrounds for every three collections so that is i chose wisely <laughs> so yeah um so let me show you the basic backgrounds first of all on the cover i just choose a nice uh, beige brown with a white dot on the back so you can use it everywhere, simple as that. Then my next one is, yeah, a little bit everything. Everything is going around here. We have some mint big flower. We have some uh, music notes. We have some newspaper. We have some handwriting. We have some ornaments. Here is some splashy pink, old pink one with some whitey dots so yeah there is a lot going on on this page but it's so easy to use because you can use it this way 
you can use it this way, you even can use it this way, or this way. So it's very nice that you can use it in every direct direction. And again, fits amazing. Um, the back, this is a nice contrast page. I want to have, because there were also some nice dark images, I definitely want dark brown to come back otherwise everything is light and pastel color so i want to have a light front and maybe a darker background so that is why i choose for this nice big ornament on the back so it does not is too plain now my next one yeah 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 one of my favorite ones stripes i can't resist i just love it too much so it's the same dark brown as this one and it's not a completely white it's a nice cream color uh, background so yeah and also with some nice snowy effect just love it you can cut these for strips which i love <laughs> but you also can use it as, as a background you off there or this way very nice to use then the back yeah 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 it will come back but then in a different color and i chose not too minty i choose a nice green one so it will fit with all collections but this fits also with this one especially with the images it fits amazing all right then my next favorite one is yeah you know me i love dots so i created a nice dark brown with white dots so easy to use i just love it and easy to use also to be used as a strip very cool so and a dark one for the contrast then the back is a very light one but it's a very pale pink so it's a very pale pink in this i call these square ones plate background i don't know I just love it so it's a very pale pink pink beige so also very very nice to be used in every project and i'm not gonna tell you which other collections that i have i'm not gonna tell you that but i promise you the other two are not better not more beautiful because they all three are just mind-blowing <laughs> so we have work to do guys this winter all right so um here we have a nice if i may say so okay so we have the stripes back again but then in a diagonal um layout and i used some lyrics on the sides right here and a big ornament at the top and then the ornament in this corner let's so this also, you can use it in every single direction. It's very easy to be used. The back, here I used, um, I have no idea how this this tag, this this bloom will call, but it's a ni nice beige background, very grungy beige background with um, these, these, these little flowers. It's not a flower, it's, I think it's just... I have no idea how it's called. I think my, my hobby is, is allergic for it. <laughs> but something with a cat. I don't know. Kattenkruid, I believe, in, in Dutch. But I don't know the, the English word. Um, anyways, then again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have again some stripes. But then in a nice vintage mint. Not too mint, but a vintage mint. If I can call it this. Yeah, I think I can call it that. So also some, um, some vintage edges as you can see here at the bottom it's a little bit beige but i don't see think that you can see it at camera but i promise you it is amazing and then this one um <laughs> it's so cool oh my gosh i love it so as you can see uh, from behind as you can see right here there is some nice grungy in here it's a little lighter but if i show you closely then there are some little tiles so cool very easy to be used also for the contrast guys use it and then our next one um i think this one did come back in the winter tales uh collection i love it too much so i chose it again but then a little bit more gray touching so and here again some grungy 
mint and pink is coming back in the corners here and there. So as you can see, it's just a little touch. As you can see right here. But it is hard to see on camera, but it is coming back. A little of the vintage pink and mint. It is coming back. So cool. And then the back. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's the same one as that pale pink one. Uh, but then in the dark brown. So cool. So easy to use. Also for strips, for backgrounds. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. So that is what I wanted because it fits with all, guys. It just fits with all, but I'm not done yet. I have another diamond one, but then in the pale pink, well, the vintage pink, old pink, I don't know the word, but it's a nice pink one. Also some grungy on the background, easy to be used. You know that you even can use this as 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 a strip or as, as a border or anything love it and then the back this one also i also have this one in a paper collection which one was it the circus one yeah the show it's showtime that that's this one i love it too much and i i know when i was making the it's showtime project that i love this page so so much so easy to use you also can use it this way this way so it's very very easy to use and i love the color so i brought that back into this one because it fits with all and then we have my last one again a nice dark one yeah 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 i love it so let me show you close these nice ornaments very easy to be used also this direction every di di direction you can use this and then the back my little bonus some extra dots yeah 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 do i need to say more easy to be used any direction so cool so that is my basic backgrounds um so like i told you the basic backgrounds will come back in two other collections but this is my first time i'm going to use it so i'm super excited super excited oh and there are in one paper pack there are 45 or is it 54 i never never remember how it called let me show you <laughs> i am terrible 50 54 sheets i think that that is it. so they are nine double sided six sheets each 170 gram and a four size in a 21 by 29 and a half centimeters so you will have six same pages 54 sheets guys you will have plenty to use so each time when i, I i'm working on something I, I i call this one set so one set is nine sheets, nine double-sided sheets. So that's one set. So I already have my six sets. <laughs> I already have them right here because I normally will not throw everything around. I just work with one set and then I go to the next set. All right, so um, that is what we are going to work on. So guys, 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 what do you think? What do you think? I hope you're gonna love it. Um, how it looks like when you cut everything out. <laughs> okay, so I use the bag where this was in and then this looks everything what I cut out. Can you imagine? Yeah, it, it, took, it took a while, but oh my God, it's so much fun. So I'm gonna, I am gonna put these on some plates look at this it's just so amazing i can watch these images so many times the only thing that i want to do with with all these images but i think i'm just going to do that when i'm going to use it i don't like to see the black to, the white too black so i'm just going to grab my edging and I'm just gonna try to color it a little bit and then it looks so much better see the difference wait just a sec 
See the difference if you smooch the edges or you don't smooch the edges. See that? I like the edges, but that's totally up to you. Totally up to you. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna grab a few of my black papers um, to make some choices which images will fit nicely on one page or something. So that is what I'm gonna do next. So guys, enjoy this project, guys. Enjoy it together with me. All right, next up. <laughs> <laughs> all right this is absolutely how i love to work so i gathered all my alices in one tray and then i have all my bunnies my little cards my queens my little fancy animals that is also that i gathered and then i have my um how is he called again? The head person, I don't know. The cat one, and then my butterflies, and my mushrooms, and the keys, and the bottles. I gathered a little bit. So that is where I'm gonna put these. I have no clue, can I put these inside? I can, I hope I will not. <laughs> that was a big, a big, big truck that needed to <laughs> needed to um, hit the brake real hard alright so I will see where I can put these without shaking them all uh, around so yeah fingers crossed it all stays there I love it I love it this way <laughs> okay so that is everything what I'm gonna need well where I'm gonna work with um, the next thing is I did a little try out because I have something in mind that I did before but it is years ago and um, I so love that project I don't know if you remember that um, Cafe 45 Ferry project oh my gosh love that project it's a box it's actually a mini album in a box and um, it's been a long time that I did such a thing, so I um, love to do that again. Um, the only thing is, um, I was thinking, and I don't know, I really don't know because I don't have the box any longer, but if if we need to protect the, the folds, the fold lines. And I was searching for something uh, black. And I know black tie vac is not easy to be found. I know there is, there is to be found, but I could not um, to, um, but yeah, so I found something else and that is, now don't laugh, <laughs> that is this postage bag. So this is a very nice solid postage bag where you can add a book in or clothes or whatever you wanna sent with the post office and it's a pretty sturdy one it's not a garbage bag it's definitely not it's better quality and um so i tested it out so i ordered some and i tested it out and um you easily can cut those in a nice sheet and i already add some double-sided tape on um because i thought well maybe it is easier to put first tape on then there was a shiny side and a matte side and I put my tape on the shiny side because I don't want to have too much bling bling this time so I thought it was easier to put first double sided tape on and then cut whatever size you like I think well my real memory keeper does cut without tape but maybe it is even better to put already some on so I I opened my bag with just a scissor, cutting all the edges off, and then you will have two nice big sheets that we can use. Now, first, of course, I did a test out. So with this, this is only cardstock. These are three, la five, five layers of cardstock. First the black, 
then the gray, the pearl gray, uh, and then again black. So yeah, one side of five layers of cardstock. So it's a nice story. You don't need to use um, uh, chipboard because I also did not do that with my mini album in the box, very for the graphic for the five one. Um, but now I have a really nice sturdy and I did it on both sides but I don't know I don't think it's necessary so I only think that I'm gonna do that on the inside and then the outside maybe just I will keep it but now that I have it on two pieces I don't it is really sturdy guys so yeah I don't think this will ever tear so I am a little doubt on inside outside I only think maybe only on the outside I don't know I'm confused what I want to use it is nice it's nice because you are gonna grab that project but on the inside well maybe we are going to do that on the in and outside Let's let's just start. And then the next thing I really like the pearl grey. You also can just use white. It's totally up to you. I really like it. Um, this and then of course on here there is also going to be design paper. So you definitely don't need chipboard. This is sturdy and in so many layers of cardstock. And I already uh, tried it also with brown. And I must say, I, I do like the white, but it's just an option. You also can use different colors, maybe a red one or a pink one, a blue one, whatever color you like, but I go for the pearl gray one. So, yeah, it was just a tryout. So let's get started, guys. All right, so that is, but I will, I will show you how I add all of this, and, but it's just a little talk to. <laughs> all right. Hello, 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 lovely people. For those, for those who do not want to make this box with those pages inside, and maybe you like to make the pages, but then not in this kind of style. Maybe you like to make a little mini album. Then I have the measurements for you, so you can follow my tutorial. You can fo you can follow the, the the binding. You can follow every page, every measurements. But if you don't want to make the box, but you want to make a mini album with those two, maybe you can make two uh, mini albums for this. If you want, then I have my measurements for you guys. Um, so if you cut your chipboard, this five by six three fourths of an inch two times, or twelve and a half by seventeen centimeters two times, and three and a half by six three fourths for the spine one time. Or 9 by 17 centimeters one time. So if you cut your chipboard, these measurements, so you have three pieces for one album. So if you cut that again, then you have two albums. So it's totally up to you. If you want to make one album, then of course just make one page. I made everything double. So this is just for those who does not like to make these this, this kind of a box. Uh, but still like to make this project. Maybe you still like the papers. Maybe you still like I don't blame you <laughs> because the papers are just phenomenal um, But if you don't like this project, I don't blame you if you do like to make a nice mini album Then that's the measurements that I recommend to make your little mini album All right, so just an extra tip for the day I'm also going to test out a few methods with um, put the tape on all together and then all the way with a one inch strip or put two pieces of double sided tape and then leave a little gap in the middle so maybe it is easily easier to bend I don't know um, but I also can maybe add double sided tape on the paper and then add the strip so I don't know which, which method is the best I have no clue but I'm just gonna have a few options that I like to test it out cool <laughs> I like testing out things <laughs> now let's say let's just start let's just start with the box I always love to start with the box and let's get 
get started. Now I don't know which 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 side I want it. So let me first what is a four by six size? Let me see if I have a left oh, I don't have a leftover piece. Now I'm just gonna check it out just a second to know what size I want. Now let's say a four by six then you will have this size and for those who are new to my channel um, this is also a way that I like to work to talk through every single process that I <laughs> am doing that so you get a little bit get the clue on gonna grab a Pilgway A4 piece to see what size this is because I don't know if it's handy um, with this one if we make it too big I don't want to make it too big that is and I'm just gonna check it out with the papers what is the best option what we can use but this I think is a little bit too too small but I definitely want to have that you have the place for adding a 4x6 and a 4x6 is for the most for the inches people and for our centimeter people it's 15 by 10 that's a little bit large well it's 15 by 10 centimeters so that is the base size of your photos normally so I definitely want to at that and if I want to have that then it's a six and a half by four and a half and then you will have a full space for adding your four by six so let's give this some thoughts let's grab a little note so you will have your four by six photos and if I would just want to have a little edge then I definitely need to make it four and a half by six and a half inch and I'm gonna make a tunnel <laughs> how big is it then a little bit bigger than this of course Four and a half by six and a half. All right, that's a little bit how it then will go. Okay, then we have this size. See, and then your your 4x6 photo mat will definitely fit nice on here and we're gonna make a tunnel so yeah I think that's a nice size what do you think four and a half or six and a half tunnels we are going to make yeah all right um tunnels that means that we need to have a half inch longer so the six and a half is going to be seven and the four and a half it will stay so we do need to cut a dozen <laughs> or four and a half by seven inch for the tunnels the base tunnels base tunnels four and a half by seven so let's start with that first okay so I'm gonna grab my black let's see how that is going to turn out how can we the best way to cut this four and a half of all I think the best way is to cut it this way I don't know let me just check it first and then two times four and a half and 
and then we need to score half inch Okay, so we have two pieces, exactly the same, with a hinge. Now one you turn around and you just glue these two on each other and then you will have a nice base tunnel. Alright, let me do that for you. Start with one side so you can wiggle this side all that you want till you have this on the correct spot. Then you will go to your left corner where you did not pull it out, your tape. And then when you are satisfied you can push the corner down where you pull out your tape. And then you just can easily pull this one out. And then you only have to put this one loose and there you go. Rinse it down and there you have your tunnel. Cool. Yep, I like it. Alright, so how many do we need to make these? <laughs> I don't know. Um, five on one side or six on one side? I don't know. So, um, yep, that's what it is. You're going to cut. Oh, definitely need to have a black pencil mark. Um, for you cut your pieces four and a half by seven. You do need two to make one base tunnel. Um, I'm going to make 12 for now. I don't know if I need 10 or 12, but at least then I have them. Uh, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And after that, I'll see you back. Okay guys, so that is done and I will give you a little bit extra better information. So we have 12 pieces based tunnels that we need or 10, but at least then you have two extra. Uh, you cut 24 times, four and a half by seven inch, score half inch on the short side, the short side <laughs> and then glue them together. All right, and then you will have your tunnel. And then it's gonna be four and a half by six and a half. Perfect for your photos to put on, if you want. All right, so next step, let's go for the outside base.